Hey, I'm Chris Bluhachik, and welcome to This Old Hat. This Old Hat has been brought to you in part by a grant from American Hat Makers. Making quality hats handcrafted right here in the United States of America. This week on This Old Hat, we had the owner of this beautiful American Hat Makers Aspen Hat write in and ask us to help them make it look a little more vintage. We're going to go ahead and put some miles on it and send it back to them. Make sure that they put the miles on it themselves for real while they're riding in style. So let's go ahead and get ready. Strap on in and get comfortable. Let's go ahead and get to work. So we're starting with our beautiful American Hat Makers Aspen Hat. It's a great hat to start with. It's 100% fur felt and uh, it's going to take all of the, the work that we do to it very nicely. You can use any hat for the most part. Just make sure you don't use a synthetic fiber hat and I'll explain why when we get to it. We're going to start with our paint. I always choose a dark brown. I always choose a light brown. In this case, espresso and a warm caramel color, or clay color, I like to call it. And it's always a light brown and a dark brown, regardless of color hat. The reason being is we're going to simulate dirt and age. There is no black. Grays aren't going to work because it doesn't happen in nature. So I always like a dark brown and a light brown. When we start with our dark brown, we're going to put it where the brim meets the crown, primarily. It's going to look like it's absorbed sweat and oil over time. Collected a little bit of dirt as well. We're also going to set it in the creases in the crown to show some accent, really make it stand out. We're going to put it along the outside of the brim here, underneath and on top, to make sure it looks like it's been grabbed over the years, fingers on and off, that you've really worn this hat. On the underside, we're also going to do where the crown meets the brim in, in the dark brown to make sure, again, we're matching the sweat look and the body oil look from the top. We're going to also use the dark brown, and we're going to do the insets. We're going to add some shadow. It's going to give it a nice accent look. Once we've got that, we're going to take our warm caramel color, light brown, whichever you choose to use. We're probably going to highlight the top of the crown again to give it some accents. We're going to do the rim of the crown, really give it some accent there. We're probably going to do in the middle of the brim here. We're going to do a little bit on the back and a little bit on the front where it really highlights. Once we've done all our painting, we're gonna use the rubbing alcohol. I use 91%, you can pick it up from your local drugstore. We're gonna mist the whole hat. And this is why we use fur felt specifically and not synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are gonna burn when you do this. You're gonna melt your hat, you're not gonna have a hat. But 100% natural hats are gonna really work well for this and it's gonna end up looking like it's vintage. A couple of things the alcohol are gonna do for us. When we light it on fire, and we're only going to miss, it's only going to be a little bit of fire for a few seconds, it's going to even up the paint colors. It's not going to look like you spray painted it, it's just going to look aged. And another thing we're going to do with it, anywhere we want a little bit more burnt, maybe you dropped it in a campfire, maybe you ran into that log cabin to save some kittens, whatever the case is, maybe you want some burnt accents like I do. So we're going to spray a little bit more alcohol in the areas that we want, we're going to let it smolder a little bit longer. It'll make some nice burn marks and rings and accents on the hat really put some years on it, make it look a lot more vintage and like you've got some story to tell. One of the things I like about this Aspen hat is I'm going to go ahead and leave this matchstick in there. I think it's going to give us a really cool look when it burns and puts a nice little burn mark right there. I think it's going to be really, really cool. If you've been a fan of the show for a while, you know that I like hawk feathers. So we're going to accent this hat and finish it up with some really nice hawk feathers if this hawk was so kind to donate and drop at our doorstep. All right, so let's get rolling. Again, we're going to hit where the Crease of the crown and the brim meet. We're gonna do the edges, both underneath and on top of the brim. We're gonna do where the brim and the crown meet here. We're gonna do the insets down here. We're gonna make some shadows here. Let's get cracking. Now that's looking better already, don't you think? Really like how these shadows really set in here now and in the brim here. Really looks like something out of a movie if you ask me. Let's go ahead and use our light brown now. Really add some highlights right in the crown, along the crown's rim, 
We're going to come in and highlight in the middle, little in back, little up the front. Let's go ahead and flip it over and add some highlights to the bottom. Look at that. What do we think, folks? All right. So now we're going to go ahead and take our 91% rubbing alcohol. And we're going to go ahead and condition this hat a little bit. One thing I mentioned earlier was that it evens up the paint tones and it makes it look even more natural. Another great thing that I forgot to mention is it does actually set the felt to be a little stiffer than it did come out of the box. It's also going to help make it a little bit more weather resistant as well. Great things for an adventure hat. So remember, just a light misting to start. A little bit goes a long way. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that we want to be careful. Something else you can do while this hat is still warm from setting it ablaze is it makes it a little bit more flexible. I personally like to have my adventure hats with the brim rolled a little bit up all the way around. The reason being is I'm personally a photographer and I like to be able to see what I'm shooting at without taking off my hat. So it allows you to get a camera under there, just a little bit better visibility, but it's still going to keep your head warm and dry and it's going to keep the sun out of your eyeballs. That's just a little pro tip. Now remember, some areas that you want to make look a little bit more burnt, something cool like this where the match went off, we just add a little bit more rubbing alcohol in a very specific spot. Let's go ahead and top this off with some beautiful hawk feathers. I don't want to hide that really cool matchstick though. We're going to do double here. Maybe stick this one back in the back. Now I'm a big fan of the double feather look. I think that looks pretty neat and I think we're done. I think it's time to get this bad boy back to the owner. All right, I hope you folks had just as much fun watching as I had making. Again, I'm Chris Bluhatrick and this has been This Old Hat.